Mr. President, yesterday, as you mentioned, the world witnessed a sobering reminder of the challenges faced not only by the Libyans, but by those in the international community who are committed to support Libya's ongoing transformation. In Benghazi, the U.S. diplomatic presence was deliberately attacked and burned. Those claiming responsibility cited a video insulting to Islam as their motivation. Four U.S. diplomats were killed in the attack, including U.S. Ambassador to Libya, John Christopher Stevens. I have seen reports that Libyan security personnel were also killed. The United Nations rejects defamation of religion in all forms. But there is no justification for violence such as occurred in Benghazi yesterday. We condemn in the strongest terms the facility and we extend our condolences to the families, Libyan and American, of those killed and our wishes for a speedy and full recovery to those injured. The uh, uh, loss of Ambassador Stevens uh, uh, is a real, uh, a big loss for the Libyan uh, people, uh, uh, as uh, he is a loss for the, uh, as it is a loss for the uh, his family and the U.S. Because Ambassador uh, Stevens was a real friend for the Libyan people, and he, uh, uh, his personality is very simple. He used to have a friend among the high officials and the simple Libyan people. So he has uh, uh, a great uh, uh, deal of friends among the Libyan people, and his passing away is a real loss for us.